EPA, WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for December 26th, 2025. Hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas holiday break. And the Friday video forecast is sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family-owned and operated brewery with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street. And their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town, is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week and have a full food menu, plenty of beer to choose from for both dine-in or takeout, along with local wine and cocktails. New food specials dropped at the Susquehanna location within the past week, including pork belly sliders, a honey bourbon crispy chicken sandwich, and white steak pizza, all available through the end of January that you'll want to check out, along with some great new beer releases in four packs. For more information on that and all of their upcoming events, please visit their Facebook page or to place online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud longtime sponsor of the Friday video forecast. Okay, so we're going to go through this system today. This is one heck of a headache, and uh, I will tell you that... Um, the, the maps that we put out so far, we had a, f I guess you would call it a first call, whatever, uh, that we did that, that we, the initial map we put out was on Christmas Eve. We had an updated map on Christmas Day. Uh, that was at 4 o'clock yesterday. Uh, today, we are, don't know if we're going to be sticking, stay, uh, staying pat or uh, going to be changing that. We'll see how that goes, but uh, the, if there is an opportunity for that, we'll do that this morning. Probably before, right around noon or thereabout. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is one of those really tricky situations because it's not just dealing with surface temperatures. If you look above me, surface temperatures today are at or below freezing everywhere within our coverage region. So 24 to 32 is the temperature spread. So that means anything that's falling is in falling from the sky is in frozen form. It's just what form that is, is the question. And that's because we have some warm air advection working in aloft with this system, fighting this high pressure that's off to our north. You can I'll circle it right here. Here's that high pressure that's sitting over southeastern Canada. This is of the Quebec province here. And you have this low, low right here that's moving toward our region at the same time. So they're going to be fighting each other. There's going to be a warm front associated with this warm air advection that's going to be pushing across Pennsylvania in this direction like this. And then this high is going to be supp uh, supplying some uh, agiostrophic flow around it, which is going to give it a uh, give, give us a cold air damming situation. So this is not uncommon in winter. And I know some of you are looking at the storm like as if this is the last chance for snow for the winter. <laughs> it's uh, you got a long way to go here, folks. This is a long way. Winter just started uh, literally five days ago. And we're going to have plenty of these opportunities. You're going to have these kind of events in winter where you're going to have some things other than snow, okay? So some sleet, some freezing rain, that's all going to be part of this. And uh, going forward from this, so this is the European model, what it shows. It's going to come in as snow initially for our eastern areas, but it's going to start as sleet in many of our central PA counties and then go over to freezing rain. Uh, our eastern areas will be snow and then sleet, maybe a little freezing rain in some areas. Uh, but this is going to uh, continue through. This is going to come in through, come in later today, and it's going to continue through the overnight and start to taper off very late in the overnight and early Saturday morning and move away. Okay, so this isn't, isn't going to be a prolonged event, but it's going to be enough that's going to cause any kind of ice. When you're talking about any kind of ice, whether it's freezing rain or sleet. That's the kind of stuff you want to avoid, but we have that every winter, okay? We have that kind of thing to deal with. This is one of those systems we're going to have to deal with that, unfortunately. Now, I'm going to show you two different, two different examples of what could happen, all right? And they're complete polar opposites, which we are, at the time of recording this video, we're only like 12 to 18 hours away from the start of the storm, and they don't have a clue. They're so far apart, it's not even funny. This is the high-resolution rapid refresh. And I'm going to start this off at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Any of the blue is snow. Uh, this, uh, what color is this? I guess like a pinkish, or, I don't know what it is, orange, orange, pinkish color here in the middle is sleet. And any of the purple is going to be freezing rain. So as I move this forward, watch what happens here. Okay, you get snow initially, 
breaking out, and this is going to be mid to late afternoon farther east, but it's going to start a little bit earlier than that in our central PA counties. All, look at this large area of freezing rain in central PA. You got sleet in between, you got snow further east, and as we go through time, some of this sleet is going to eventually work in farther eastward. That's going to go all the way into southern New Jersey, western central New Jersey, and going all the way back into central PA. Uh, now the high up to the north is going to supply some cold air. Is it going to be enough? There's going to be a battle here, and the battle is going to occur most notably right in here. That's your battle area where you can have a boom or bust scenario. So if you look at our snow map, which I'm going to show you in a minute, it has pretty wide ranges yet. Like there, there's some areas that have one to four inches of snow. There's other, other ones that have four to eight inches of snow, some that have a coating to two. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of variability in this range in particular that I'm circling. We did this on our first call map and highlighted, had a red box over the area that there's high, high variability. And even up until the 11th hour, this is still going to be a problem trying to figure out where this is going to be. This is going to be more of an outcasting event. So we're putting those spreads in there because it can be a boom or bust scenario at any given location within that area that I circled. And uh, the, the high resolution wrapper refresh starts this off as snow. And then for some areas, changes, uh, changes to sleet and then back to snow again, which is certainly possible. And then we before we end here, we get uh, like a wintry mess here, of just light freezing rain or sleet as indicated here. But you see across northern New Jersey, uh, eastern parts of northeast PA, you're remaining snow for most of this. And you're going to get some decent accumulations there, we think. Now, if I take a look at the – go back. I'm going to go back here uh, to this point right here. This is uh, 3 – or is this – yeah, this is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Let me see. Let me go to – go. let me go ahead at 9 o'clock. So 9 o'clock, all this area here is in snow, according to the high-resolution wrapper refresh that ran this evening. This is all sleet right here, okay? This is freezing rain out in these areas and then rain across southern Delaware, right? That's what it has here. I'm going to keep that there. Now I go to the NAM, and it's showing a different scenario. I'm going to stop this at 9 o'clock once I get there. But you see this is coming in. There's not really much snow on the front end here. It's all sleet. The snow is confined to the Hudson River Valley all the way into southwestern Connecticut, uh, going all the way up into, like, Watertown, right? And as we go forward in time here, there's no changeover back to snow. This just stays as sleet the entire event. If I go to 9 o'clock, that's 9 o'clock right there. Let's compare the two. 9 o'clock on the high-resolution wrapper refresh, 9 o'clock on the NAM. So there's a huge difference between the two of that warm air advecting aloft that's going to change. It doesn't matter the temperatures at the surface are below freezing. It matters what's going on aloft when you get to like between 5,000 and 10,000 feet aloft. If you have any warm air wedges coming in there, the snowflake that's coming from the cloud, it's born way up above 10,000 feet, comes down and then melts because it gets into that warm layer and then it refreezes on the way down here uh, to the surface because it's colder, obviously, the surface, as you can see. Uh, so this is going to refreeze and, and, and turn into sleet. Now, sleet still accumulates, so it counts as snow totals. Let's just say, for instance, if the NAM's correct here, and it's just uh, going to have sleet through the entire event, that counts as your snow totals for this year. So if you got an inch of sleet, that's an inch of snow in the, in the official record because both accumulate. Freezing rain, on the other hand, is uh, you have such a deep warm layer aloft that it falls through the clouds and then once it reaches the ground it's still falling as rain it gets all over the ground and then re and then freezes on contact and i think that's going to be most prevalent here in our southwestern areas here when you get out here uh, like franklin county uh cumberland county adams county those places out here in south central pennsylvania where you will have a little bit more in the way of freezing rain and even the hrr is showing that too you see all this uh, pink here and it's kind of targeting those areas for that freezing rain so uh, even all the way up until the point where we're about to start the storm the models are still all over the place so uh, the fact that we put a map out here uh, expecting a certain amount of snow uh, don't focus on the snow so much this is going to be a slop event except when you get up here you get up here i think you're pretty safe uh, to see mostly snow up in these areas right in there where i circled 
Now you see that's north. Wilkesbury is right here, so you will have some mixing issues there in Wilkesbury. You will have some issues across parts of the southern Poconos. When you get the northern Poconos, especially northeastern Pennsylvania through northern New Jersey, I think you're in a pretty good all the way to New York City. You're in a pretty pretty good shot at remaining all snow if not mostly snow, okay? Uh, now, one of the things we're doing here in this situation, even at this time, is looking at the ensembles. This is the GFS ensemble that ran this evening, and uh, it's still showing. Uh, this is pretty close to what our map is gonna is showing, which I'll show you here in a second, uh, but the target areas here across northern Jersey, northeastern, far northeastern corner of northeastern Pennsylvania for the best snows, uh, but this area here is gonna get at least some snow before changing over, and then... Uh, you, further southwest you go, it kind of dramatically drops off. So here's our snow map uh, to reflect that. This is what we had at our, uh, I guess you can call it a second call, uh, that we did on Christmas Day at 4 o'clock. And uh, these areas up here in Area F in the dark blue are 4 to 8 inches of snow. We might even have to go a little bit higher than that across southeastern New York uh, in future updates, but we'll see. Uh, if we have to update again, then we'll do that again by noon today. Uh, this area in blue is a 1 to 4 inch range. Again, that gradient is going to run right across somewhere in here. These are the, This is the highest uncertainty area right in here uh, where we don't really know exactly if you're going to be favoring that lower end of the range or the higher end of the range. So this is something we'll have to do in now casting today. And if we have to change the map, we will. But I don't think we really needed to right now. I think we have this outlined pretty well. Uh, but there will be some sleet, certainly, in both D and Area E. Uh, maybe even portions of F here will get into that, as far as uh, sleet is concerned, especially when you get in these border counties like Monmouth, Middlesex, uh, Somerset, maybe northern Hunterdon, uh, parts of, of uh, Warren County here in New Jersey, and then you get up in parts of uh, Monroe County, Carbon County, Luzerne, Lackawanna, those places, you're going to have the opportunity for some mixing at some point. Uh, the further northeast you go, the better you are. And that's the bottom line with the system. And again, this is not the end of the world if you don't get, uh, you know, a decent amount of snow out of this or you miss out. <coughs> Excuse me. If you miss out on the best snows and it ends up being uh the lower end of the totals or anything like that it's not a, that big of a deal we have plenty of opportunities coming in the rest of the winter this is just one particular system that we're talking about here so uh we'll have if we have any changes it'll be at 12 o'clock today uh but i don't currently anticipate we'll need to make much change to what we currently have okay uh going forward from this we have the next system coming in it's going to be rain however uh late sunday when this comes in well, the opportunity for a little bit of freezing rain in the higher elevations of Northeast PA and Northern New Jersey here initially as this uh, first pushes in because Sunday is only going to be maybe low to mid 30s for highs. It's not going to be that warm here on Sunday. So when this first comes in, you might have some freezing rain initially. That is going to change over to rain though, as you see here, uh, as this cold front moves through. We're going to have temperatures rising overnight Sunday night into Monday morning. We'll have a milder day here on Monday. It's going to be achieved earlier in the day. As soon as this cold front passes in the afternoon, though, temperatures are going to plummet, and we're going to have uh, breezing conditions starting here on Monday. We'll get into the details of the breezing conditions uh, Monday and Tuesday, which does look like to be a significant wind event behind this once this cold air advection uh, moves into the region. Uh, but uh, Monday is going to have the rain in the morning, Cold front moves through in the afternoon. Then you get the uh, uh, partial clearing and you have uh, uh, breezy conditions starting here on Monday. And that's going to go through Monday night and again on Tuesday, although Tuesday should be a partly cloudy day for most areas. And then we are partly cloudy here on Wednesday. And then we get to Thursday. Wednesday, of course, is New Year's Eve. And then when we get to Thursday, there's the opportunity for some snow showers with the next system coming in. It's a little clipper system. Doesn't look like much right now. But we do have the opportunity for a few snow showers on New Year's Day itself with temperatures remaining below freezing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martris. That is your outlook for December 26, 2025. Have a great Friday.